In this video, we'll calculate the mass of one atom of helium, that's He. So to do that, there are really just two steps. First, we calculate the molar mass of helium, also called the atomic mass, because it's just an atom. And then we'll divide the molar mass by Avogadro's number. And this is Avogadro's number right here. It's the number of particles, like atoms or molecules, in one mole. So the molar mass right here, helium, is 4.00. So that's in grams per moles. Those are the units for molar mass. So we have 4.00 grams per mole, which means if we had one mole of helium, it would have a mass of four grams. Then we would just divide this 4.00 by Avogadro's number. You can think of it this way. We know that one mole of substance will have Avogadro's number of particles. In this case, we're talking about atoms. And this here is our conversion factor. I have moles on top because when I multiply this, I want moles to cancel out. So again, we're just dividing 4.00 by Avogadro's number. When we do that, we get 0 0.66 times 10 to the minus 23rd grams. This number makes sense. Atoms are very small, so we should have a very small number. And we're dividing 4.00 by a huge number here. So it makes sense this is a very small number. Sometimes you'll see this written like this. It's the same thing, but some teachers like to have it this way. So to recap, we found the molar mass for the substance for our helium. We divided it by Avogadro's number. We're left with grams. This is Dr. B finding the mass for one atom of helium, H-E. Thanks for watching.